Anyway. Um, what else did Atari do? They did a, uh... Like I said, they were doing they were doing big things in 1984. In fact, they released the uh, the first arcade game to to feature 3D polygons. A little game called I Robot, not to be uh, not to be confused with the movie or the book. They just they just like the name, so they uh, they called it I Robot. Is there an interact button on the browser source window? I didn't see anything I could click on. So this game is uh, very ambitious. It's a very, very funky cabinet. Uh, whoa, there's like a there's like merch and stuff here. It's easy to learn, not so easy to master. I guess they're they're kind of spitting there. Um, you're an unhappy interface robot number 1984 in rebellion against Big Brother and his evil eyes. The evil eye dictates the law. The evil eye will kill you if it sees you breaking the law, which is no jumping. That's a pretty easy law to follow, you would think, but uh, turns out you have to jump to finish these stages, so... This game also features a, uh, a non-game mode called Doodle City. Where you can just, like, fuck around and, uh, and draw, like, 3D pictures and stuff using the, uh, the, uh, the objects in the game. It's very... unusual? <laughs> so this game was kind of, uh... I guess Atari had, uh, had big hopes for this game. But it was, uh, kind of a flop. Uh, I think they, they, like, sold, like, less than a thousand of these. I don't know if the hardware was, like, kind of expensive, like... Uh, the... The, uh, the 3D technology, I guess. Like, I think the, uh... I think the cabinets might have sold for a lot, so... Not many cabinets got out there. And then, like, uh... A lot of them... A lot of them that, like, got out... That got sold, like, kind of underperformed in arcades. So... They weren't in the arcades for very long a lot of the time. Some of the some of those cabinets might have went to the junkyard, so there are very very few surviving cabinets of this. Uh, Grinkers had one. I have played an actual cabinet that said Grinkers. But then Grinkers closed down and now all those cabinets are in in Utah now, I think. They're supposed to be going to California. But that has made this game outrageously rare. So if you did get to play this in an arcade, you are, uh... Uh, consider yourself lucky. I mean, I was... I was too young at the time. I didn't... I didn't remember seeing one. Oh yeah, it does use a Hall Effect joystick. I'm going to... Gonna attempt to just use D-pad. No jumping. Oh, yeah? Why not? That's why. Good old Atari games giving you the tutorial after you die. I mean, I'm not playing yet. This is all the, the demo. So your objective is to mark all the, the blue floor red. Some spots you can only uh, you can only jump across, obviously. Once it's all turned to blue, you kill the eye, and then you go into a shmup part. Isn't this cool? For 1984, this is pretty fucking amazing. Remember, avoid solid objects. It's a lot to remember here. Flashing columns show where a robot can jump. Okay. Bonus life every 20,000. So yeah, we got... Actually, my controls aren't set. Hold on a sec. <laughs> I switched versions of MAME. It doesn't have my controls now. Okay. So I want... I'm gonna need the start button map, too. Oops. Alright, we'll, we'll play iRobot the game. The movie, the game. 
No jumps to shield. Oh, my buttons? Wait. I don't have a... I don't have a shot button. I thought I mapped that. Hold on. Where am I? Why is my shot button not working? There it goes. Weird. Jump to I. Ow. Okay. This game's audio is all over the place. Pew, 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 pew. Give me those big points. There we go. I beat the best score at the bottom. 9 9 for. 2500 for best base score, so. If you beat the best score, you get more points? That's kind of a weird system. Okay, so you see how it like scaled out? If you hit the start button, you can change the uh, the perspective. And if you make it this, you get times two. It's hard to see stuff. But, you know. Wait, how do I change it back? Am I stuck with this now? <laughs> I thought I could change it back. I guess not. I don't know if my buttons are set right. I had all my buttons set, and then this... Oh. The eye. Land here. Also, there's teleporters. If you go in the teleporter, or transporter, you can skip ahead. And there's the old, the whole Atari classic of giving you more points for warping than you would for doing the stages. We are just going to do the stages, though, because I want to... I'm not really going for score here. Uh... Oh. <laughs> okay. Let's go in. That's why I said you get you. There's a multiplier that gives you more points for the for using a worse camera angle. Take that. Ah. Let's try to shoot the Tetris. Man, this game is this game is backseating. Isn't this the first three polygon arcade game? That's what I said at the beginning, yes. It was the first polygon game. Can this be finished? Uh oh. I believe this game has like 23 levels. Something like 23 levels. And then. Or no no no, it has it has more than that. It has a lot of levels, but when you reach the end, it, it wait it, it might be 23. When you reach like the the end of level 23, you go back to level one, so it just kind of goes on forever. So it doesn't really doesn't really have an ending. It, it has a come on, I was shooting that bird. It has a finite number of stages. Game's a nightmare to keep running. I mean, I can imagine that. Oh shit, it's Andros! Oh right, this is fucked up because if you don't destroy any of those spikes, they come back and kill you. They don't they don't tell you that until you die. Thanks, Atari. Good work. I guess. Tired of video games, burned out on mass destruction. Forget the game. No, we're not ready for that yet. All right, so let's take the teleporter at the beginning. So I think you can you can sort of continue. And note that if I start on level five, I get forty thousand points. Well, if I finish the stage. Oh wait, no, it's level four. I didn't I didn't finish. Uh oh, no jumping! No jumping! Jumps the shield. 
I missed one. Ah! Okay. Ah, no, not the beach ball! So there, I just beat my score because I warped. <laughs> yeah. For like one credit play, I've never I've never been a fan of the the whole warp thing, but Atari was really big on that. What are you gonna do? How am I supposed to get two thousand points here? I can't fire fast enough. Oh, now we gotta shoot blue walls. Shooting casino chips at me. Ah! <laughs> God damn it. Okay. So you can't really see, uh. Okay. Oh, maybe it's a two player start. It's a two player start button. Okay. That explains it. And that's how you change it. So I get less points when I do this. But it makes it easier to survive. Uh-oh. Gotta shoot the walls. I missed a diamond! Hold on, let me... Let me map that. Yeah, there's there's a lot going on in this game. Okay. Uh what's what's going on here? Oh god. Got zapped. Game over. Look at that score I earned. I totally earned that score. Uh, start button. And then I can just warp again. <laughs> and that's how they get you to keep spending money too. To uh, to keep continuing, to get bonus points. Tempest did the same thing. No surprise, this was designed by the guy, Dave Thurer, who did the... who did Tempest. Oh. Can't jump yet. Camera's like changing automatically. I didn't even I didn't press anything. Nice. Big bonus. Tankers and porcupines get mad and attack when shot. <laughs> well, thanks, game. Did it again. Whoa, watch out for the the life raft. So I think if you you get all those letters to spell I robot, you get an extra life, but I've never actually done that because none of my credits ever last that long. Also you do have to you actually have to land there to finish the stage. Oh god, the, the sharks! Hey, the game's still, like, introducing new enemies and shit. That stage isn't so bad. Oh god, do I have to fight Andros again? Yep. Wow. 
want to like shoot his head so that he's not firing spikes. I have a really bad time with with this. <laughs> I was trying to rotate him again. Get rotated, idiot. His perspective is making me dizzy. There we go. We're vibing now. Oh, no we're not. How am I supposed to get 2,000 points? No! <laughs> That's pretty much what happens to me every time I get this far. All right, let's let's do let's let's forget the game and spend some time in Doodle City. The ungame. Okay, use controls. Oh, look at my look at my pretty picture. All right, start one clears. Start two spins. Whoa, look at that. So this is just like a glorified uh, service mode graphic test that you can pay 25 cents for. I don't know if players would be really, uh, really gung-ho about this. You might do it once and be like, that's it? <laughs> cool, I can look at this, uh, this rainbow diamond from different directions. Is Andros. Uh, both start special. Whoa! Uh, memory mode. Huh? What? Start with. This is complicated! And hey, if you fucked up, you can, you can return to the game. Although the more time you take, I think like the less lives you have. Whoa! Cool. Damn, look at them go. Oh, f I didn't want to. Oh, I can't go back. I hit the wrong button. I was gonna, I was gonna paint a, paint a thing. I, I. Oh! Wait. When did I do that? Oh, you can... Okay. You can spell out toot. <laughs> the problem is you can't go backwards through the, uh, through the order. This is like, uh, I think anybody from UPL saw this and was like, oh man, we gotta, we gotta do that shit in our games. And then I can go back to the game and get one life. <laughs> this is gonna run out really fast. Or I can just die instantly. The first video game with real-time, computer-generated, mathematically perfect, solid three-dimensional graphics and no hidden surfaces. So they were... They were really proud of what they did here. I mean, they're... They're spitting. They're not lying. It is... The first game to do that. But... As a... As a tech... As a tech showcase, it's pretty impressive. As, as an actual game? I'm not sure I like it all that much. <laughs> like, it's, it's got a lot going on, but I'm not sure... I'm not sure I find it all that fun, and I think that's kind of why it flopped. I mean, there there is a lot to learn. There is a... There is a lot going on with these levels. But... Um... 
It, it does get kind of ridiculous. It's a little too ambitious. That's a good way to put it. But it, it is cool for what it does. That just makes it a very, very tough game to rate. <laughs> Because whenever I get to those, one of those Andro stages, I, f I hate that shit. <laughs> it feels like it lasts forever. I don't think I've ever gotten past that, uh, that one on stage eight. Even even with continues. I mean, it's, it's kind of a continue feature, right? And yeah, it's, it's got adjustable camera. It's 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 got a lot of shit going on under the hood. But. Hmm. Opt out of preferences. Yeah, maybe I can drag the uh, the window. But I don't know. Did it deserve better? Should it have? Uh, should they have sold more of these? Maybe. All I know is uh, these these cabinets are in high demand now. It found an audience after in the years to come. Anyway. Oh, the thing disappeared! Oh wait, no, I, I closed the window. Okay. So I just have to... <laughs> we have to do it like this for now. <laughs> I guess that works. Uh, oh, I didn't take the ratings down, by the way. It was not a five. Um, everything's breaking on me. 58% gave it a four. Right click on it and interact. Aha! Thank you, itinerant soldier. Now it disappeared. Okay, hold on. Nope. I did not know about the interact button. Thank you. <laughs> Fucking cookies. Um. Hmm. Uh, yeah, I'm I'm torn because like it's such a cool showpiece, but. I'll be nice. I'll be nice. Maybe I just don't fully get it. Maybe... Maybe there's some good stress I don't know. I mean, somebody was able to... get to stage 76. Only one person on MARP has done it. So I'll give it the benefit of the doubt. Maybe I shouldn't have. <laughs> I'm already regretting it. Oh well, whatever.